Preps and more. Second inning. 60-60. This 60-60 segment will be dedicated to a conversation with a Pro Football Hall of Famer inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame back in 2000 and undoubtedly since his retirement after the 1994 season. Joe Montana, the former San Francisco 49er and Kansas City Chief, has been working with a number of charitable causes, and I know one of them has to deal with high blood pressure. Joe, take us back, and by the way, we appreciate you being with us. Take us back to the initial diagnosis of your high blood pressure and what has led you to what you're doing right now. Well, back in in 2002, I... I went in for my yearly physical, thinking I could just go in and get the heck out of there, um, not feeling like anything was wrong. And from the year prior to when my last physical, I um, went into this physical and came out with <laughs> extremely high blood pressure. And <clears throat> I'm not sure they're not sure how I got it, what what caused it, but all I know is I was left with that. And um, I, you know, I was contacted about you know, getting out on the road and trying to, <clears throat> excuse me, get out the word about high blood pressure. And um, since then, about for about two years now, I've been on the road with uh, Dr. Uh, James Rippey, um, a Harvard cardiologist, and on for a campaign called Take Action for Healthy BP. Um, it's sponsored by Novartis uh, Pharmaceuticals. And what we're out there doing with the program, it's, it's aimed at the 65 million American adults out there with high blood pressure. And that, that's scary because that's about one in three of us. And what we're trying to do is encourage the people out with high blood pressure to get out there, get with their doctors, set a healthy blood pressure goal within what we call the BP success zone and develop a treatment plan to, you know, to help get them there and, and help keep them there. Because that's, that's one of the tough parts is that you know, once you feel like you got it under control, you seem to tend to slack off on the things that you need to be doing. But uh, you know, I was surprised when I found out. You know, even though my family had a history, um, I still thought that it would never happen to me. And but luckily for me, when when I got with my doctor, you know, we we got she got me started on a medication, and um, I was a little concerned when the first medication wasn't really enough. It didn't really get my blood pressure where it needed to be. But you know, then I found out that majority of people who will be taking blood pressure medicine need to take. Uh, one or two, a combination of medicines usually, and, and I'm on one now called Luttrell, which is uh, two medicines in one tablet, which makes it a little bit easier for me. Uh, um, and, you know, since then, uh, my doctors looked at my diet, my exercise, and uh, we've made a couple little fine-tuning to, to both of those. And, you know, for about two years now, I've, I've had my blood pressure under control. And... Uh, I'm committed on keeping it there. I'm working hard at it. I got my family helping me, which has been, you know, funny. And we've had some funny things happen as we go along. Like, you know, I'll order something I shouldn't order, and my 15 year old loves it because he eats, especially it's usually a cheeseburger, he gets to eat it. And um, kids take my salt shaker away, and it, little things that have really helped me, you know, get where I need to be and stay there. Joe Pat O'Rourke here, and, uh, you know, I was. Speaking for John and myself, I mean, we, we believe you're the greatest quarterback of all time, and that's why it makes us that so odd that you're not necessarily that we would figure the type to have high blood pressure because you were the best performing under pressure during your times as an NFL quarterback. I guess that makes you a perfect spokesperson for Novartis Pharmaceuticals because if it can happen to Joe Montana, it basically can happen to anybody. Well, I, that, I mean, that's part of the beauty of, of the program is that if people are thinking that way, Maybe that'll get them. It'll drive them into their doctor, and you know, that's what we're trying to do. We just really want them to get in there with their doctor uh, and find out. Because we mentioned the medicine that I'm taking. You know, it might not be right for everyone. So what, you need to get in there and find out the medication that's right for you, and, and get get this started with your doctor. Because it it's tough. People call this the silent killer because there are no symptoms. But the beauty about it is that there are a lot of things you can do about it to save. So you don't find out the hard way with a stroke or, or a heart attack. And there's a lot of great medicines out there and a way to, uh, you know, correct this. And so there's no reason for people to have to go through that. You know, unfortunately, Joe, this hits close to home. I just turned 40 years old. I've been, been on high blood pressure medication for 15 years, and I've never had a weight problem of very little in terms of family history. So my question to you is this, because I know the way I've treated it, I needed three medications before I found the right one that I've been on now. Are you making more frequent visits to your physician since you've been diagnosed for the last three years? 
Well, what, what I try to do is I try to, mon- I have one of those blood pressure cuffs you can get at the grocery, uh, not the grocery, <laughs> the uh, pharmacy. Right. Because they're actually pretty accurate. And I, I maintain, I probably take it about two, three times um, uh, every two weeks. I, I, if it seems to be a little bit high, I'll take a little bit more. But um, it, it, it helps me kind of monitor where I'm at. And if it gets out of hand for a long period of time, then I, then I get to my doctor. But I haven't had that case yet. You know, and if people want to find out more about this campaign too, there's also some some help, some tips in here on our website. There's a great place for some information. That's healthybp.com. And for those who don't like the web, they can call an 800 number 866-556-3866. Is it something, Joe, that once you start taking the medication, that really isn't? I mean, I know you mentioned the joking around with your family where they'll take the salt away from you. But is it something that once you're diagnosed and you get the medication, it's not something that uh, terribly, I guess, affects your daily life once once you're diagnosed? No, it, it doesn't. You know, it, you know. I think the toughest part is changing your, your eating habits a little bit, but, you know, I do it in moderation where I don't have to cut everything out that I like because I think that makes it something that people will not stick with. So you can make, you know, change these little habits, and then as you go along you find out, you know what, I don't really need the things I was having before. I can have them every now and then. I'm, I'm more satisfied than when I have them every day. So, but it is something I'll have to do for the rest of my life is with the medication and, and, and continue watching. John Beltran with Pat O'Rourke, joined by Hall of Famer Joe Montana for just a few more minutes here on 1010. Do you look out for some of the other numbers as well in terms of cholesterol and other things like that to, to make sure that that right now is settling in the way you'd like it as well as the high blood pressure? Or do you really focus more on the high blood pressure because that's the one diagnosis that you've been uh, handed to here over the last three years? Well, I, I focus on the high blood pressure, but my doctor focuses on all the other stuff. So when I get back in, I'm actually scheduled to go in for another physical. She keeps an eye on those numbers. And if they get high, you know, we work on, on, on uh, getting that corrected also. Well, Joe, I, I think we've uh, definitely touched on this topic. And before we sign off, we're going to continue to have you give out the information so that uh, those, those people that are affected or could be affected by high blood pressure can know where to contact and know how to find out more information in terms of getting treated. Well, I wanted to, if it's all right, ask a few football questions. I know, uh, you know, the yeah. be- best receiver of all time is Joe- Jerry Rice, and he, of course, just signed a contract with the Denver Broncos. What's your feelings on Jerry Rice and uh, how, how much – can he, with an impact, can he make in Denver at this point? Well, uh, you know, I love Jerry <clears throat> to death. I mean, he, I, he's the greatest wide receiver ever to play that position. and um, he, He's the kind of guy that you like to have a, a part of your team. And, you know, and granted, you know, he's probably lost a step or two. But his work ethic that he brings and, you know, still able to, he's still able to make some catches. And you, know, you get him in the red zone, he's still tough to cover. And as long as he's healthy and he can move, you know, uh, you know, He's going to teach the other guys on the team what it takes to be uh, the greatest. Joe, do you still follow the 49ers as much as when you were playing with them, considering you did win four Super Bowls with them? I, I follow the NFL in general. I mean, I obviously keep an eye on the San Francisco because I live there. Um, but um, it, it's difficult. My boys are playing, and Pop Warner out there for some reason is on Sunday afternoon, so I don't get a chance to watch a lot of the games. Um but I do keep an eye. It's, it's kind of every everybody goes through that, you know, what they're going through. It's just a matter. It's their turn. So and they'll find a way back out of the hole some, somewhere in the near future, I would imagine. In terms of those diagnosed with high blood pressure, and I guess it's about over 65 million Americans who, who have BP, looking at uh, particular pr- professional athletes, I mean, uh, are, do you know of any examples right now of athletes that maybe are, are still playing the game that have high blood pressure and are, are being treated for right now? Um, have not have not run anyone that is willing to mention that. That's part of the the athletes, you know, image. They don't ever like to admit they have a flaw. So uh, you don't see too many people stepping up and talking about it right away. Okay, Joe, go ahead and mention that website again. Yeah. How they can get all the information over the internet because obviously this is a problem that we've been talking about that I know very well about. But again, uh, the internet is a great tool. So go ahead and give out that, that info yeah. once again. Okay, great. Thanks. It's healthybp.com, and the 800 number is 866-556-3866. That's Pro Football Hall of Famer Joe Montana. Joe, appreciate you joining us, and a continued success with all the charitable causes you're involved in. Thank you very much. appreciate your time.